Hi everyone and welcome to Tatum's Tech Talk. It's our final episode and we've had a tremendous amount of fun doing it. We focused on the bike and of course the setup throughout uh, the equipment there. But now we want to look at uh, what the boys actually wear when they're out there racing and uh, taking their lives in their hands. Um, we've got the body armour and there have been some uh, significant improvements in this uh, area. There's no doubt about that. You've got shoulder and elbow protections. There's a little bit in the chest area as well. Um, quite possibly the most important part of this though is actually the protection to your spine, the back protector itself. Um, when I first started riding, there were an awful lot of guys didn't even wear one of these. Um, to be perfectly honest, though, you can't go on track without one. So yes, this is a nice jacket that you put on. Also, then we move on to knee braces. Um, of course, knee injuries can be very uncomfortable, so this is a, something that could prevent that if you fall awkwardly. Um, as I say, another important part and a, another area that really has improved quite dramatically. Um, so uh, that's pretty much across the board now, guys are wearing those. Uh, boots, everybody wears boots. A conventional right boot, um, no real surprises there. But when we come to the left hand side, um, we've got the steel shoe on, which enables you, the left foot, to slide across the surface on the entrance to the corners. But as a consequence, there is no heel on this side. So that's important to, uh, to see, and that is very specific to our sport of speedway. Obviously, there is the top dressing, the suit itself, that goes over all the body armour. Um, it's a Kevlar material. It is now strictly regulated by the governing body now. Previously it wasn't. We actually had suits with nylon in, which caused all sorts of problems when guys were crashing and getting burns and quite some severe injuries. So that's been outlawed and this is now very much the norm. Um, so yes, that is the classic Kevlar suit that goes over the armour. Um, helmets, of course, off-road helmet, that's pretty much uh, standard there. And of course then onto the two different options when you come to actually the goggle and tear-offs. This is a conventional tear-off system. You see the little film here. And the second option here is, of course, is the roll-off system with the two canisters on the right and the left-hand side of the goggle. It's got a film that goes across. You pull the toggle, that pulls the film across and enables you to keep seeing where you're going. And then finally, I, I want to take a look at the neck brace. Um, we're seeing more of the young guys wearing these. It's not a compulsory item, but it is something that uh, one or two of the guys are beginning to look at quite seriously. All in all, hugely important to have the right gear on, quite clearly it is. It's got the right gear when you hit the deck, and you are going to hit the deck from time to time. You want to be wearing the right gear.